guys how you doing? Just a quick video about QSN panels, you know, Lutron controls. Basically, you have your switch leg side and your power side. You have your zones, these are your four zones, okay? Don't get it confused. You put power on your A side, you put your switch leg on your B side, okay? So it's gonna show you one A, one B. Power, switch leg. It also has a slot for control power for the whole panel to turn it on. You can feed it from one of your uh, uh, zone feeds as well if you want, because the panel doesn't take up that much power. It only takes about a half an amp, okay? So that's how you hook up your zone. Power, switch leg. This is your control uh, for the whole panel, okay? Neutral, hot, all right? Now, getting down here in the control part, all right, you have your QS link, which is basically just a regular low voltage wire. It has five cables in there. One of them is going to be a 20, two of them are going to be 22 gauge, okay, and then you have two 12 gauges, and I believe this is like a 16 gauge on whatnot. It's for um, another device, another Lutron device, so you have your 24 volts. Okay, and this is the important part, all right? When you're jumping them from QSM panel to QSM panel, you only hook up the common, okay? You do not hook up the red 24 volt side. You can see here that I have it cast off, all right? So you don't wanna, you don't wanna install that 24 volt, all right? Usually it goes into slot number two. As you can see, slot number two is empty, all right? The other two wires are for communication only. All right, and what's good about this is that you can actually T-tap um, this cable so it doesn't have to be, you know, uh, uh, it doesn't have to be ran in and out. You can actually T-tap it, so if you need to go to various other spots on the same floor, you can, you know, splice it. All right, so that's that part right there. Uh, this is where your zones go, for zero to 10 volt dimming, all right? You have your spots there for every zone, zone one, zone two, zone three, zone four, which collaborate with your zones from up here, okay? And you also have spots with this panel for hard wiring, you know, uh, control devices, like it's like if it's, in our case, it's wireless, so we don't need these, you know, but you can hardwire, you know, occupancy sensors or switches and whatnot, daylight system, uh, uh, you know, uh, daylight sensors as well. All right, so that's basically it for that. Um, I just like to label everything before everybody knows what everything is. You know, we have our panel feed coming in and what the switch leg is for, canopy lights and whatnot. So yeah, another thing is, is that if you have emergency lights, they cannot be in the same panel as your normal power lights. They cannot be in the same panel. So you have to separate them. <clears throat> All right, so that's what we're doing at, at the job site that I'm at now. We're separating the emergency lights from the actual normal light, normal power lights. All right, guys, real quick, just want to show you a little video on how to actually control the lights and how to work the actual features and the buttons here that you have. Now, each one of these columns is a zone. It's pertaining to the zones from up here, okay? So you have your zone four, which is over here, three, two, and one. And the one all the way over here is for the power for the actual panel itself. Okay, so how you do this is in order to turn off the lights, all right, let's just say I want to turn off the east facade lights, which is this one here, which would be my zone two. I would come over here and press the two buttons. At the same time, you have this one here, which is up and down. I would press them at the same time okay until i see the actual lights going down see how they go down okay and then when it's down i want to if i want to turn it off i press down one more time and then the zone actually turns off as well okay at first it just goes from high to medium to low so it just dims it but if you want to actually turn it off once it's all the way down you just press down one more time and it'll shut the zone off. So now I'm gonna go outside and see if it's actually off. And the lights are off. Now, 
now let's check these lights. And now I'm turning it back on and it's all the way up and it's on. Now I'm gonna turn off the north side that's right by the exit, which is zone three. Again, pressing down both of the buttons at the same time until it goes all the way to low until it's completely off. Sometimes if you don't press it at the same time, it won't go. So there we go, it's going down all the way. Now it's off and now I'm gonna press down one more time and it turns the zone off. Now let's go check if it's off. This helps. Any of you that are out there and have any questions about Luton or QSN, you know, uh, um, installations and wiring, give me a, you know, shout. Alright? And I'm out.